Hi guys, welcome back to Brew Over Made. Today we got a little bit of a different episode, a little bit of a restoration video. We're getting rid of this stupid plastic handle on this hammer. I've got a project coming up where we're using a lot of pallets and uh, I'm having to use this hammer a lot and it's just giving me blisters. Uh, I like a longer handle as well so I can get a bit of a better swing on it. And to be honest, I'm a woodworker. What am I doing with plastic tools? So, enough talking and uh, off with the head. Bloody hell. It's been a while since I whacked out this boy. Right, I am hoping there is no metal rod in the middle of this because I'm going to be using a saw. So, uh, let's get on with it. Now there's no turning back now. Handles off. Didn't know this handle came from Colombia. Oh god, don't put it in me drink. Right, so got the hammer head off now, it's all nice in here. And now I need to figure out how big I want this. This is a nice bit of oak, and if you can see, the grain is relatively straight, so this should be perfect for a hammer handle. And uh, now I just need to figure out how long do I want the hammer handle. Obviously, I don't want it, don't want it like sledgehammer long, but if that's going to be there, I think roughly here will be nice and long enough. Yeah, yeah, we'll go for that. So. We'll quickly scrap a line in it, mark everything out. The reason why this is all different colors and stuff is just I was testing some different finishes on it. Uh, just because I had it lying around and didn't know what to do with this. This is from an old table. But uh, we'll go ahead, we'll cut that, and uh, we'll start shaping it all. So I'm just doing some work now with uh, the hand plane, getting some chips, getting this into more of an octagon sort of shape. Uh, just, just to get it rough down to size and then we can figure out where everything's going to go. Smooth everything out with the spoke shave and then do a bit of sanding. So, I'm just slowly going along. Taking it down. Getting a bit of chip out here, so I think I'm going to flip it round. Put it in this way. If you're ever having problems with pushing a plane through a bit of wood, always flip it round. As you can see there, getting much cleaner cuts. We're just trying to take this down into a more manageable shape so it's no longer a square but into a round. You can see it's already somewhat getting there. Uh, there's no blueprint for this. I'm literally just winging it, seeing if, how, what it feels good in the hand, making sure to keep track of the eye, you know, the eye that will be going through here. Because that that needs to be it needs to be the right side, but we have good freedom with the rest of the hammer handle. So keep taking this down. Now we're going to work on the eye before anything, and make sure we get this to fit in. So we're going to put it up in the vice like this. We're going to grab our spoke shave. Mine is a little bit broken, as you can see, but she still works. So we're just going to put it here, and we're slowly just going to. Work down to the eye. Give it a little test fit. Still needs to come down a fair bit. Actually, let's put it in here. Give it a little tap just so we can mark it. See where the lines are? Yeah, so wherever. There is little black marks where it's scratched and caught. We'll take it down there.
So, turns out this handle is full of fiberglass and I have gotten it everywhere. I've managed to hoover the majority of it up, but my arms and my hands are itchy as hell. So, word of warning, if you are going to be beheading one of these hammers and doing this, uh, wear gloves, wear a respirator, do all that good stuff. I thought it would have just been plastic and epoxy, but apparently there's fiberglass in it. So, be careful with that one, but we've gotten the top all whittled down. I've left it a bit bulging around the edges, so when we run it home, it can have a nice friction fit. Uh, I haven't put the slot in yet, but right now we're going to shape this handle and we're going to clean up this hammerhead with a little sander here. So let's uh, put you on a time lapse. I'll get quickly get through the all the, 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 the English. So we'll get on the sander. We'll get all this all shaped up, all nice. We'll get this nice and cleaned up. And uh, yeah, we're close to the finish line now. So I'll put you on a time lapse and we'll get sanding. <laughs> Right, so we've got everything all shaped up. This is the shape I went for. Uh, a little bit bulging here, thins out, and then gets a bit chunkier back here. So when I want to work a little bit closer, so I got this little bulge to grab onto. When I want to work down here, I got a nice big bulge to grab onto. Uh, probably should have spent a little bit more time shaping this, as you know, it, it does look a bit crap, doesn't it? But I'm happy with it for now. I would you call it just wanted to quickly change this hammer handle over so I can get done with these pallets without having blisters all over my hands. Also polished up the head a little bit. I wanted to keep some of the uh, pitting and stuff so I didn't take it all the way down. Uh, but I think it looks a lot nicer than this rather than covered in epoxy and wood glue and all sorts. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut the slit in the top of this and we're going to make a wedge. We're going to drive the hammer head into... Well, no, we're going to drive this into the hammer head, put the wedge in so it opens up and splits it so it's on there. And then we're on to putting the final finish on and then seeing how this hammer turns out. So let's get on to it. Alright, there's our little slit. It's not perfect, but it will do the job. So now I'm going to go find a little something we can use as a wedge. All right, so we've got everything we need now. We've got the handle, we've got the hammerhead, and we've got our little, little wedge. So let's go ahead. Let's start driving this hammerhead onto a bit of wood using inertia. There we go, we've got that part on, now, very carefully, we need to get some wood glue, I'm going to put this on our little wedge, oh, let me angle you down a bit more, put this on our little wedge, put it on that part on the wedge, Now uh, we just want to drive this in. I'm going to be ever so gently with it though. So we don't break the wedge. So I'm just going to start softly tapping it. And when, the wedge, and when the wedge no longer goes in, then we can call it done. Right, so now we're just going to quickly keep going at it and chisel the top off.
Now all we need is a little bit of oil on the handle and uh, then our hammer's done. Let me see, what, what oil have I got here? Hmm. I think we'll go for this hard, hard wax oil. I think that'll be good enough. Oh, bloody hell, that's uh, a little bit excessive. Get this all nice and slathered up. Probably just a little bit of linseed oil would have been best for this, but this will do. Put it on the top here as well. Why not? Let me get a rag to wipe off the excess. Right, and we're back. So we have taken this horrible hammer off. And, uh, well, it hasn't got a lot of length and stuff, has it? We've gotten rid of that. And now we're left with this. Looks a lot more lovely. And to be honest, it already looks used. And uh, I don't know, it's got quite a rustic feel to it. It's almost like a, a blacksmith's hammer. But I love how much more leverage I've got on it. The hammer's on there nice and sturdy. The face is all cleaned up. And actually, we're going to whack a little bit of oil on there just to prevent any rusting and stuff from happening in the future. But yeah, I guess we will do a little test now to make sure that this still hammers. So let me go grab a nail. So we got two nails in the workbench. We've got the hammer here. We're going to see how many hits it's going to take to sink it. I've put two in because I can guarantee I'm going to miss the first one. I'll mess it up. But let's see. See, messed it up, hit it sideways, and it fell to the side. Right, let's try this one. Two hits and she's sunk. So, and the hammerhead's still on there nice and strong. Let's see if we can bend this up and sink it. Although this nail feels like it's going to snap. So, right, see if we can sink it in one. Oh, look at that. Gone. So this handle is so, so much better. I am a lot happier with it. I mean, if I spent a little bit more time in it, it could have made it look a little bit nicer. But to be honest, I quite like this. It's uh, got character. So, yeah. But that's going to be it for today, guys. A little bit of a different video. I know, uh, you know, I'm not building any tables or anything like that. I'm just messing around, uh, restoring tools and stuff. But uh, we do have a project coming. If you can see all the materials and everything that I've got gone on the ground. So I just wanted to get this hammer fixed up so it's a bit easier to take apart that pallet because this one, the old handle was giving me blisters and stuff. But let me know if you want to see more of this sort of content. I've got loads and loads of tools that I could do with fixing up. So let me know what you think. And uh, don't worry, there's a nice pallet project coming soon. So subscribe and stick around for that. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this video, let me know what I did wrong, how I could have done things easier. So, just like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Let me know if you like these videos. Oh, this is way too long. And uh, I'm going to quick, 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 quick. Hi guys, what? Forgot me microphone. English!